Millions of people are dreaming of their own comfortable home. When they choose their perfect house, they do not see thermal insulation, but feel the comfort and warmth that bring extruded polystyrene foam slabs. Do you know how it all begins? and how a tiny little granule of polystyrene turns into a reliable and energy-efficient thermal insulation material. Let's have a look at the evolution of the granule to the XPS slab. It all starts on one of the eight XPS plants of the Tecna Nicole Corporation, where a modern thermal insulation material is being produced. Extruded polystyrene foam. Multi-purpose, energy-efficient, water-resistant, high-strength, and durable thermal insulation material. Thermal insulation from XPS is used for insulation of residential housing on all construction levels, from the basement to the roofing, and is also applied on industrial objects and road facilities. Carbon Eco, for thermal insulation of residential housing and cottages. Carbon Prof, for industrial and civil construction. And Carbon Solid, for road and transport construction. XPS slabs are produced by extrusion of polystyrene granules. Polystyrene is used in the production of disposable tableware, medical containers, and even toys, which proves it's a safe material. Before being processed, all the raw materials should pass quality control, after which the polystyrene granules and other components are sent for storage in special reservoirs, silos. From these reservoirs, the raw materials go on the main production unit, extruder, here, at a certain temperature and pressure, the polystyrene granules are mixed with special additives and foaming agents, liquefied carbon dioxide and alcohol. The resulting product, foam mass, is the material for the future slab. The thickness of the material is defined by the calibrator and lies between 20 and 100 millimeters. Already after extrusion, XPS possesses close pore structure. Air is locked in sealed pores of polystyrene the size of which is less than 0.2 millimeters. Such material structure guarantees high heat savings and strength properties and low water absorption. Graphite nanoparticles determine stable thermal insulation properties during the entire operating life of the material and provide that distinguishing light silver color. Then the material goes on the FlexiPrint unit where the print is being applied on the surface of XPS. After that, the material goes on the cutting unit, where the length of the slab is determined. When primary dimensions of the slab are defined, the slabs go on a paternoster, where they will be cooled down within 10 to 15 minutes. Next step is the milling cutter unit. Here the lateral and transversal L edges are being formed, which help to avoid the occurrence of thermal bridge in insulation. When producing XPS with advanced adhesion to plaster, the surface of the slab is being milled to form microgrooves. All cutoffs obtained after edge formation and milling are then collected by the automatic aspiration system and recycled into granules that can be reused in the production process. Such technology enables for zero waste and ecologically friendly production of XPS by Tecna Nicole. For the production of slabs up to 500 millimeters thick, there is special equipment working under the technology of thermal bonding. On this unit, the standard slabs are being gradually bonded into blocks of desired height. Due to strict requirements for energy efficiency, the thermal bonded slabs enable for sufficiently decreased insulation time by one ply installation of thermal insulation of the required thickness. Before packaging, the final product should pass quality control. Samples of the material from each batch are tested for compliance with the claimed values of thermal conductivity, water absorption, compressive strength, and geometric parameters of the slab. Only when the tests are passed successfully, XPS by Techno Nicole is allowed for shipment. Packages of separate slabs go on the package unit, where the products are covered with heat shrink film and are stacked on pallets. Final pallets are then additionally covered with film, which protects the material from external factors during long-term storage outdoors, on storage facilities, or on-site. 
After packaging, the product is then transported to the storage facility for storage and shipment. Various schemes of integrated shipping enable for optimized loading of vehicles to maximize the usage of space. So, shipment of light XPS slabs above heavy material helps to decrease the transportation costs and thus the price for consumers. At one shift, up to 70 vehicles can be loaded, which means that several thousands of cubic meters of the products will be available within the next 24 hours after shipping from the plant. This is how the polystyrene granules become a modern thermal insulation material, which preserves the warmth and comfort in thousands of houses in many countries all over the world.